Every time you turn on your faucet, clean, quality drinking water appears. It's something that is easy to take for granted. Every day, St. Paul Regional Water Services provides 40 million gallons of water to 425,000 residents in St. Paul and surrounding suburbs. Have you ever wondered where that water comes from and how we make it potable for our customers to drink? Our source is the Mississippi River, which typically provides 70 to 80% of the water we drink. We pump it from the intake station in Fridley through eight miles of underground conduits to a chain of lakes north of the Twin Cities. It pours from the underground conduits into Charlie Lake. It then flows into Pleasant Lake. From there, it travels via conduit to Sucker Lake. And finally, it flows into Vadness Lake, the last reservoir before the treatment plant. Located along the route to the treatment plant are 10 deep wells that can be used to back up our regular supply of water if needed. Once it arrives at the treatment plant, we begin to process the raw water to make it suitable to drink. First, alum and quicklime are added. This softens the water and helps particles to collide and clump together into larger, heavier particles called flock. After the water is thoroughly mixed, it is sent to the clarifier to begin the settling process. The flock sinks to the bottom of the clarifier. The settled flock is collected and transported to the dewatering building, where the excess water is pressed out leaving a clay-like solid which is used as an agricultural soil amendment. Meanwhile, the water continues on its way to the recarbonation chamber where carbon dioxide is added to reduce the pH level to allow for the disinfection process. Fluoride is also added at this point for dental health as required by state law. After reducing the pH level, more settling occurs as the water moves through the secondary settling basins and onto the filters. Here, the water filters down through 36 inches of granular activated carbon and four inches of sand. The granular activated carbon removes small particles and the molecules that cause taste and odor issues. The filtered water is collected and sent to the underground finished water reservoir. Chlorine and ammonia are added here to disinfect the water and provide protection against bacteria in the distribution system. Sodium hydroxide is added to minimize potential lead exposure from some service connections. The water is then pumped out into the distribution system. The water travels through 1,200 miles of water main to reach our customers' homes. You can turn on your faucet at any time to get quality drinking water for you and your family. As the water travels from the river, through the treatment plant, and to your home, we conduct dozens of tests each day to ensure the quality of your water. St. Paul Regional Water Services continues to be in compliance with all Environmental Protection Agency and Minnesota Department of Health regulations for drinking water. Monthly reports on the physical and chemical analysis of the water and the annual water quality report we publish are available on our website. You can access that information at stpaul.gov forward slash water. All of us, all 253 employees of St. Paul Regional Water Services take pride in providing you with high quality drinking water. Thank you.